have you ever had a truly terrible situation? A time where your heart was pounding, your muscles were tense, and you were ready to take action, no matter the cost. I mean, personally, I've had different times in my life where I was truly in that fear. It sucks. Just one week ago, I had one of those situations. It all started with my, uh, my mom taking me on a surprise trip for my uh, upcoming birthday, which is in four days. And after the hour trip to St. Louis, we arrived at this place called Rise Adventure Park. <laughs> it's an outdoor urban park. It's this huge tower. And it's centered around all these things like climbing and zip climbing and just like these road courses with different distances. Uh, it was all great. It was really fun. Uh, Except for one small thing. I don't like heights. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, after checking in, strapping in, and learning the various rules of how to not die on this course, <laughs> I was ready to go. <laughs> I proceeded to slowly climb up the tower, and all of a sudden, there it was. Fear. Heart pounding, muscles tense, and I was ready to take action. This rush of emotion ambushed me. Before I knew it, I was 50 feet in the air. I was, all of a sudden, I was praying, God, save me, save me. I am, I am not ready for this. I am, I'm afraid. I truly thought that my life was at risk. And what made this situation ironic was the fact that this whole time, I was never at risk of being hurt. I mean, here's the reason why I was never at risk. This carbiner system. It is a clip that keeps you attached to the steel cable that's above you at all times, and that steel cable prevents you from falling. It is designed so that I can never be disconnected by my own negligence. Does it remind you of anything? Does it remind you that we are protected by our Lord Jesus Christ in the same way? Amen. I mean, it reminds me that when I feel like I'm spiritually naked on the edge of a 50 foot drop, scared out of my mind that I'm going to fall, Jesus' death will keep me up and save. Just for one minute. Imagine if we didn't have Jesus' death to save us. Imagine that you're dangling from this 50 foot drop. This time you have no carbine like I had to keep you safe. No fool proves best like I had that is keeping you up. Imagine that your safety is dependent on yourself. Imagine that every obstacle you have to climb is on your own merit. That wouldn't be so great, would it? So, when you take communion, remember that you are remembering God's selfless sacrifice for you so that you don't have to try to climb through life on your own merits. Because we all know this. We try to survive on our accomplishments. We wouldn't survive at all. So, let's go ahead and commemorate. First, take the bread, symbolizing Jesus' death. Next, take the blood. Symbolizing Jesus' blood, poured out itself into the blood. Let's pray. Father God, first I want to thank you for truly a blessed day, no matter the rain. Truly, you just a blessed day. And I just want to thank you for your selfless sacrifice, because the truth is, where would we be without you? Where would we be without that sacrifice? So from today and every other day, I want to thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.